this is Doogie. He's a year and a half old wire hair Jack Russell. Uh, the reason for the significant restraint and the muzzle has nothing to do with the uh, freezing procedure. It's entirely due to his temperament. I have both shaved this area and infiltrated with uh, a small amount of uh, lidocaine, lidocaine with epinephrine, uh, only because it's uh, along the ear margin and I suspect it's going to be a little sensitive. Uh, we're going to do a 40 to 45 second freeze uh, followed by a thaw cycle, followed by a second freeze cycle, and then we will give it approximately uh, two to three weeks uh, to uh, fully go through a cycle. Uh, if at that point in time there's any remaining tissue, as there is some depth to this mass, we'll go ahead and just touch it up at that point in time. Uh, I typically charge for the block and the freeze procedure. If I do a touch up at a later date, um, I do that inclusive of the first charge. So if someone has a watch and we can start timing this. Heather, yeah. give me 40 seconds. Tell me when to start. start now. Um, by the way, we're trying to make sure that we get contact with the mass. And so we are literally scraping or brushing off the frost that is added as it occurs. Uh, the reason for the masks is because of COVID. It has nothing to do with the freeze procedure. And as far as gloves are concerned, uh, what I found is I wear gloves because I would prefer not getting the, uh, the frost on my fingers, but it is not necessary. How are we doing, Heather? Okay, so there's a 40 second freeze. We're going to shut the video and come back after the thaw cycle. So following a thaw cycle, we're going to go ahead and refreeze. We're looking for the most rapid freeze that we can get directly on the tissue as that creates the greatest damage on a cellular level. Uh, because this is on an ear margin and centrifugal force tends to cause them to bleed. I have recommended that clients either use an Elizabethan collar if the dogs hate, or alternatively, a knee sock inverted over the head to keep the ear that's been treated flat against the cranium. Heather? Uh, post free cycle. It'll probably take in this particular ear about two minutes to thaw. Uh, we sometimes see some serous oozing and on a rare occasion some bleeding. Uh, I have clients just utilize a little styptic to prevent any, uh, any bleeding in the house. And of course I've trimmed off some of the long hair so that during the necrosis cycle we don't get adhesion of, of hair on top of the mask. We'll see it in three weeks. And if it's completely gone in this particular ear, there'll be a defect in the, in the, lid, in the lid margin, uh, the pinna margin, um, but it shouldn't be unsightly once the hair's grown back in.